Welcome to Battle Vortex. All right, there it goes. <laughs> uh, Guggen, thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> Y'all, I missed all my cool cool intro, man. That just blows. It really does. Thank you for pointing out that I didn't have my headset turned on. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> I got my buddy down here, Chris CRM, is um, wanting to show everybody how he does the raid. And I just got to find out where his base is. I know he's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Um, <clears throat> he wanted to, uh, uh, thank you, Guggen, uh, and also welcome, Carlos Dram, I, uh, all right, well, cool, so he wanted to show everybody how he does his, and I think he's level 53, so he doesn't have the, he has the strike campaign, so his looks is going to look a little different than what mine was. Now, he's got some amazing boats. I would not imagine most people his level to have fleets like this, okay? Uh, you see he's got a Frosty Lead, two Mastodons, then he's got a V2H and a Hellhound. So this ought to be, uh, probably be a sight, but this is a strike campaign. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out just so everybody can see what everything looks like. I see like four scouts, two thermals, I'm sorry, four drones, two thermal scouts, and two Hades. And he's got everything activated. And these are magma, the magma drones. Well, I don't know, they might be Blaze. Um, I have seen some amazing crusades, uh, Carlos. I have seen some really amazing... Um, Crusades. Um, there is one of my other friends uh, made a a extreme. Um. Uh, it made his uh, made you ship your pants. He gets on here sometimes, but he I, I actually if you watch my other uh, videos for the event, you'll see his, and they are pretty amazing. They really are. He's got some pretty decent rank on. Well, I mean, it's not legendary yet. Well, I take that back. It looks like he's got his two Mastodons are pretty high rank. Everything else is kind of low rank, but his Mastodons are pretty good shape. And he's not using any crews either. What's that extreme? Oh, gotcha. Someone, yeah, we'll have to look at that later. Um, I just wanted to watch him. Now, I, this is the strike campaign. I think there's only five waves of this. And you see wave one was obviously no issue at all for this guy. Um, let's see here. We have two Thermal Scouts. We have two Hades. And again, four Magma Drones. And it doesn't look like he really selects targets. I think he probably just shoots at whatever's closest, which is definitely what I'd hi highly recommend. And outranging the Hades at this point is no issue, because they're primarily rote targeting with the um, torrent missiles. Um, so the siege missiles will outrange him. They're remote targeting. Oh, look at that. I was wrong. I don't suppose our son's, he's, our son's probably still up front, any. he? Yeah, dog's trying to get in the house. She's about to scratch through the door. Well, that was uh, second wave. Well, I know I watched the Crusade Crusader go through um, dredges 
like it was nothing, man. It was pretty awesome watching it go through a dredge. All right. So here we go again. We came in at uh, about 2 o'clock position on this one. And we here we have three Thermal Scouts, three drones, and a Hulk. Now, uh, they, they, the Mastodon, uh, in, I know we can't really see its range circles, but um, any, any, any shots fired that g extend beyond its maximum range is reduced, the damage is reduced by 60%. Uh, the, the stuff that goes into remote targeting. Um, This is like almost going to cost him nothing. That Hulk is funny. It's got like one siege missile on it. Now right, here comes the drones. See, it's got four of the uh, four of the UAVs on it. It does got a blaze thrower on there too, but he never got to fire that. So that's the third wave. All right, I apologize. I see the purple and all that showing up on my screen. Let me zoom out of this one real quick. This one here looks like a bit more of a. We got four of the thermal scouts. We got a Hulk and two Hades on this one. This is wave four, and um, he's, you definitely want to protect the mastodons at all costs if you can. He's a very patient driver. You can tell he's a very patient, uh, slow, methodical. You know, um, I, I sometimes will tend to, uh, I guess, I'm not going to say panic, but I get anxious. You know, I guess it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Um, but I get a little, I get a little anxious sometimes. You know, and um, trying to figure out what the right clicks are. You know, and uh, but he's obviously a very confident player. But that comes with practice, you know. You get to you get to play a lot, and a lot of people don't get to play a lot because it's just so expensive to play. But you know, he he's one who can afford it. Uh, my rate is going pretty good, actually. My I um I, I I didn't I'm not getting everything that I wanted. Um, I wanted to get a couple of the unshackled hellhounds. I'm not going to get any. Uh, ooh. This one here must be the last one, wave five. We have three thermal scouts and two hulks, and this looks like a level 40 uh, um, stronghold, doesn't it? Look at all the little extra buildings. So we got um, uh, two of the apocalypse mortars in there, and the napalm missiles actually look like napalm missiles. That's a shocker. I see like four of those. And then some Serbs. Who cares about the stupid Serbs? Just don't get close to them. You'll be fine. Of course, there could be another turret behind this building right here, but uh, I'm not sure. I can't wait to see the whole thing. But it looks like these buildings, in, or the boats in here, uh, at least these ones right here, they're, they seem to be tethered to the to the, to the the uh, base, where they're just going to go around in circles. They're not actually going to chase him, or are they chasing him? Yeah, it seems to be tethered to the the base. They're not actually going to chase. Now, um, for those that do the siege campaign, the last one is very similar to the 50 uh, military stronghold. And again, the boats there are also tethered to the base. 
And then um, if you do uh, the Elite campaign, um, it's a 65 stronghold. Uh, Reaver, of course, uh, influenced whatever. And, um, and it... Um, It, the boats in there are also tethered to the base. They just circle the base, which can make it easier if they're not chasing you, right? Because you can kind of pace yourself that way. Uh, extreme, you know, that would be really funny if there really were brimstones in disguise. That would be hilarious. Yeah, uh, Milk and Butter, I, I think we saw you do an Elite yesterday. Um, I know I, I put that, i um, seen you do it in two hits yesterday. It was pretty good. I mean, it's nothing that I can emulate. I really couldn't take anything away from it for myself, to use for myself, but it doesn't mean other people couldn't. Oh, well, look at that. It looks like a na napalm, and it fires like a napalm. Wow. It really is a napalm. Oh, look at that retargeting, man. He went in there and took out another napalm. How awesome is that? That's one thing. These extra buildings in there will definitely make it a lot easier for retargeting to uh, uh, be a factor. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we're at the edge of the map. Is the chat in the way over there? Should I pull the chat off? Hey, Harm. Wow, took him out quick. Now, I'd imagine at this point he's probably monitoring the yellow ring to make sure that it's able to reach the island as he's using the Hellhound as a spotter. And it's working pretty good. Uh, needs to watch out for that serb rocket there, though. He's probably going to run right into it. Oh, nope. No shots fired. Well, rest of it's a cakewalk. He's got like one more napalm in there and, and a hulk, but... I don't know, it looked like the whole thing was kind of a cakewalk. I mean, for him anyway. This game has definitely evolved quite a bit. Uh, where you, it almost definitely, you need to have a, um, uh, like a tank in the front. I mean, it, it's smart. Uh, one day, I need to get around to build myself a tank. I just have not done that yet. I've never built any tanks. Never built any Jug X's or anything. Well, he got it pinned on the land. But it looked like the Hulk was definitely trying to chase him. It wasn't trying to go in a circular pattern. It looked like it was definitely trying to chase him, so. Well, well done. I believe that was the whole thing. Well done, Chris. Yep, tower's gone. That was it. So, um, yeah. He's got... For 53, he's got some really nice 
uh, boats. So I've known Chris for a few months. He was uh, in my alliance for a bit and uh, level 50 then. And um, but uh, you see, he's tagless currently, so he's probably uh, would be a good asset for whatever alliance he chose to to join. Um, he does get reported a lot, as you can probably imagine. Uh, you know, level 53 with um, boats like he's got. Um, most people tend to hate on him quite a bit. Oh, let me turn the chat back on. All right. All right. Um, that was the um, strike campaign, Hiram. Yeah. Well, I guess um, back to my event. He said he got 1.3 million points for that. He said he got 1.3 million points for that. And um, I probably have to highlight this video for him later. And um, so he can have access to it. I probably ought to do uh, Milk and Butters as well, highlight it, do a highlight, and um, I, I can do that at some point as soon as I get some free time. But my event, um, where I'm standing uh, currently, you see I've got 4.9 million. Um, I did already cash in and got the Crusader and the Arbalist. I'm going for the Combustion Trigger next, so I'm just going to hit 43s for that. Um, I did want to get uh, one or maybe even two of the Unshuckled Hellhounds, but I'm not going to spend any more money. I've already spent like 300 gold. I'm not going to spend any more. Um, you know, I, I kind of fell, fell into the trap, you know, with that Death From Above crew. And um, it was an excellent crew. Uh, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I felt obligated to use it. And, um, and that was kind of my downfall. Uh, I think had I veered away from it, I probably would have been able to play smarter and save myself some coin. But um, I didn't. So, not much to say about that. Uh, you know, Milk and Butter, I, I bet that is the case. I mean, you know, I get people who actually will move to me to ask for help. And I'm like, I can barely help myself, you know. And um, and usually they just, I don't know. They, I imagine in your situation, probably people just think, well, he's a super coiner. Money doesn't mean anything to him. You know, he'll spend spend a lot on me, you know, but, yeah, I would imagine that can get quite annoying. But anyway, um, I am currently, oh, not repairing anything. So I have been doing, getting some stuff repaired. I, uh, uh, my, I, I'll get around to repairing my guard at some point. Uh, it's not really a priority for me right now, uh, but I'll get around to it at some point. Uh, I'm just going to dismiss this. And, uh. I'll put a new one on, put on a freshie. I don't really use these things for anything else, so might as well use them on here. Um, let me just see if I can hunt down a 43 somewhere. 45s. I figure if I can find, um, I figure if I can get in here and find, um, you know, about five, maybe six of these 43s, I'll be done. Because um, I only need 514,000 points. A hey, hey, take care, Extreme. Oh, yes, no problem. No problem, Josh. Oh, man, what the heck did I just do? Well, this one here's already been prepped. Let me retreat out of here anyway. I didn't mean to bring my subs up there. I meant to bring the other boats up here. I did that yesterday too, or the day before yesterday. I just go in here and finish this one off real quick. So you know what? I'm gonna look at the leaderboards, milk and butter. I want to see what your score is. I mean, I knew you're number one when we recorded you yesterday, but. Um, I definitely I want to see what your score is. I um, I'm gonna let you guys in on the secret too, but y'all can't tell anybody. All right, it's really important that you don't tell anybody.
All right. Let's look at the leaderboards real fast. All right. Crap. Dun dun dun. All right. So there's um, uh, 350 million milk and butter. Is it? Um, you're just trying to make sure that you have number one locked up. <laughs> wow, 350 million points is insane. That's pretty nuts. All right. Um, the, what I was going to let you guys in on the secret is um, when you look at the profiles. I know there's like a new badge coming out, right? That's uh, supposed to be like mother. I I, I like to fight badge. And um, and to get that, oh here it is. I, I can't really see the picture very good, but it's the mother I like to fight badge. And basically, you just have to destroy more return reaver motherships than any other captain in your sector. Okay, to get that. Well, <clears throat> let me show you this leaderboard real quick. Bam! Don't tell anybody, okay? Because if somebody like Chris finds out. He's going to just mess me up, man, and, and I won't get that badge. All right, so don't tell him. I appreciate it. So nobody else in my sector can know. Hey, Nerf boy. All right, time for me to find another 43. All right, maybe I'll just zoom out. Maybe I'll find it quicker that way. Bum, bum, bum. It's 47. I, I hate the ones that hide, like this one right here, how you got to kind of click on it to see the number. But I don't know how they could run an alg algorithm to make sure that they always show up. I, I really don't know. How they could do that. Oh. Uh, well. Nerf Boy, you didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that. Now, mo for those who don't know, Nerf Boy is our local memorial killer. Oh, there's one. He's, he's our, a local memorial killer, that guy. Uh, if you ever have a memorial... In the same sector as him, he will come and get it. So, just letting you know. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's up, Nerf Boy? <laughs> It's a badge of honor, man. It's a it's a badge of honor. Ain't nothing wrong with killing a memorial. All right. Well, I guess the trick that I'm told with these is that you basically just come in. I am going to go down just a little bit, but the trick is just going right. And uh, and that's it. I just got to shake off these UAVs on my boats. <laughs> That's funny. Milk and butter, the voices. Oh, awesome. Thanks for spotting that, Carlos. All right. All right, there's one.
There's another one down here. I go there next. Hmm. Now, I do use the Z zero key on here sometimes, but that's really, uh, quite honestly, um, the primarily pur primary purpose for that is just so that I start shooting at the next boat sooner uh, is the only reason why I do it. Because um, uh, quite honestly, the um, if I just let the UAVs all go at one boat, um, it's going to take me longer to kill the other ones. So I use the zero key, so I start shooting out at the other boats sooner. Uh, I do outrange these locust UAVs. I don't know if you noticed. I, I do start shooting before them. You got to keep moving too because those lo locust UAVs, they actually do drop fire as they shoot. So you want to keep it moving um, to try to help with the radioactive damage. Actually, I probably should be separating my boats. All right. Yeah, you know, um, you were sniping them out with subs, Hiram. Oh, um, I do appreciate appreciate it. There, uh, um, uh, milk and butter. I, um, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting having one of those other boats, but I can't spend any more money. Um, and I, quite honestly, I, I don't think anybody can help me without uh, me spending some money. So, because I actually had somebody else offer to, and uh, uh, I had somebody else offer to help me out too. And I'm not going to lie, it's the, the new boat, or the uh, the limited hull, the Uncheckled Hellhound. Odds of me getting to building that um, at any kind of uh, pace is pretty slim. Um, I've got so many other holes that I have yet to build. You know that um, I have so many others that I've yet to build. I, um, you know, uh, it's probably really just pointless for me to have it. As soon as I start firing, I'm going to start pulling away because uh, I think I get enough UAVs in the air to take care of them. And it's really just going to help minimize the damage that I take. Yeah, well, today is mine and my wife's wedding anniversary. We've been married for 18 years. And um, <clears throat> there's not really any movies that I think either one of us want to go out and see. But we're going to go out and see a movie just for the heck of it today. And um, so I don't know how long I'm going to be on here, but... Um, Definitely going to go out and see it just for the heck of it. I think we might go see Focus. Uh, we both like Will Smith, so hopefully it's a good movie. I don't know why I got some of these guys selected. Why is he bookmarked? Oh, Strike, that's right. I was looking for players that were doing different, um, would be doing different um, campaigns. This was before I started. Um, Uh, it is a good movie. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. It just seems like it to me. It's like more one of those HBO type movies, you know, that um, you just pay for with your monthly subscription and not actually buy tickets to go see. But
Well, um, you got a level 32 Crusader. Oh, I gotcha. Nice. Yeah, I could have gone, did like 50 of these or anything like that for a grind, man. That would have been just insane. I, I, I don't like grinding. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I know it can be done. I've done it. Um, I didn't like it. My very first hole that I won was a Dreadnought, and I probably played probably about 40 weekends or 40 hours that weekend to get the original Dreadnought. All right. Well, um, maybe I'll go ahead and start me a campaign up. Siege campaign. I'll activate that and uh, go in there with some Nighthawks and start that campaign. Play ACDC. Man, I, I, uh, I can't play any music that's on here that is not uh, royalty free. So if there's anybody that's going to complain, hey Horatio, if there's anybody that would complain about me uh, playing that music, I cannot do it. Am I screwing up right here? I probably am, aren't I? Just run my little tail off here. Let's see what that dude's gonna do. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. I need to let him catch up a little bit so I can start shooting at him. Take that, homie. Take that. Take that. Eat that. Eat that. Oh yeah. You know you want it. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Yep, gonna die. Oh, maybe I won't die. Maybe I won't die. Look at that. Maybe I'm just more awesome than I thought I was. Let's retreat real quick. I thought I was a goner. Thought I was a goner. But you know, I'm not happy until I'm dead. Isn't that sad? Just not happy until I'm dead. How long have I been doing the raid? Since Friday, Thursday? I don't know, something like that. Now I'm not taking actually taking any radioactive damage. If you, I don't know how many people might notice, but uh, you know, I never got that little icon, the little red icon on my uh, screen that indicates that I was taking any kind of radioactive damage. And that's because I'm not going into the fire. Man, how come he couldn't just die? Just die. Oh, 
I got the Ninja Troll is following me. Thanks for following, Ninja Troll. Hey, take care, Nerf Boy. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and retreat and go back in just to lock all these guys up. Just so everybody can see what kind of damage I've taken so far. I'm going to go ahead and dock it. I just want everybody to see what, what damage I've taken. Now, this stream has been going for about 36 minutes, but uh, a good portion of that was actually watching somebody else do the uh, strike campaign. All right. I'm not sure that I've taken any damage at all yet, so let's see. All right. Let's go. Oh, I, I took a smidge of damage right there. Um, hey, Freebird. I, I'm actually almost done, Horatio. I, um, so far, I'm at, uh, I'm, I'm going for this guy right here. I need 47,000 points for this combustion trigger. Um, I already got the Arbalist and the Crusader. So I've got these two already. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will get with Milk and Butter later. And, uh, I mean, if he says he can get me an uncheckled Hellhound without me spending any points, maybe I should let him. You know? Um, maybe I should let him. So that means we are going to go to the 715 maybe yeah. then. Okay. Okay, you said we weren't going to go to the 715. I'm like, well, what happened to the 430 movie? <laughs> All right. This ought to make it a lot easier for me to get my points here. Yeah, you know, I... Uh, Hiram, if you watched any of my streams from yesterday, if you go back and they're all on YouTube, and if you watch any of the ones from yesterday, man, I had uh, one of my, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Milk, uh, made you ship your pants. He was uh, showing off his, and they were pretty freaking amazing. Uh, I watched him do, um, I watched him do a dredge, a couple of dredges. I watched him do cargos, and I mean, it was amazing. And even Wizard, uh, oh crap, 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 crap. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking dead. Oh, help me. Help me, Wanda. Help me, Wanda. Help, help me, Wanda. Now I need, to, I need him to be in my range so I can shoot at him. Alright, well, it worked before. Oh no, I'm already surfacing. Oh, this freaking bites. Maybe I got my points. Yeah, that was a oops. Hiram says hello, by the way. Oh, I yep, I got my points, so. Yeah, that really sucked for me, but it freaking happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bless you, son. Wife says hi, Hiram. <laughs> Man, that bites. Bites, bites, bites. All right. I'm sure that showed up back here in advance or something. There it is. So... That was a seven and a half hour, seven and a half hour screw up. At least it's half time because it could have been a fifteen hour screw up. Hey, um, I will uh, take care of milk and butter. Yeah, I think the song has helped me, Rhonda, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I don't know the words. I, I just know just that little part, that little <laughs> couple of words there. But I got my points. I got what I needed out of there um quite honestly um I, I just go ahead and share my builds real quick um 
Um, I, you know, I'm trying to make it a part of my routine to every time I do one of these streams before the stream is over, I'm going to share, uh, share my boats and, um, is because people are always asking, even though I have these boat, these builds posted on my Facebook page. So I'll just go over them real quick. Um, uh, uh, my, I actually have two different Harlock builds. All of them have eight Hornets. All of them have the MC3 alloy. All of them have Speed System 3. Where they differ is this particular one is my high evade boat because it has the Guidance Scrambler. And I have the four D4 Echo armor. The other three... And if you were going to build this, I don't put the D4C armor on. I would stick with the D4E. Um, and uh, But then I, I do have the UAV power cells on them. So that's really the only difference between the two. Um, I can tell the difference when I'm driving is because I always try to make sure I put my high evade boat in the number one position. And it's also the la lowest ranked one of the group. And then... Uh, Would I choose the Crusader or the Kodiak? Probably the Kodiak. Kodiak is pretty. Kodiak is pretty amazing. Um, I don't know what the future holds for the Crusader, but um, uh, you know, I'm sure at, at some point it's going to hit the retrofit lab. Uh, we've had boats now as hit the retrofit lab as soon as two months after coming out, didn't we? Didn't something like that happen recently? And. Um, yeah, well, Carlos is smart right here. Do you have a missile fleet already? But, uh, okay, my, my subs um, are dead, but they I have all of these are built exactly the same. They all have um, seven siege torpedoes on them. They all have three D2S armors. Mine are R10. My siege torpedoes are also R10. My uh, Cat 3 and Battery 3, those are retrofitted under the same thing. Oh, hey, a, a Bolarize KT. A bowl of rice. That's kind of funny. It sounds like you're going to kill somebody. Thanks for following. But anyway, the battery and the Cat 3 are done under the same retrofit, and mine are currently R5, and then Engine 3. Now, this right here is designed specifically for subbing out base guards. Okay. Um, if you wanted to have a fleet specifically for fleet versus fleet, or if you wanted to go for reavers, you know, like uh, doing the reavers, You'd be better off with assault torpedo, assault torpedo B, and um, speed system. So everything else should stand. Um, the stick with the Cat three, stick with the Battery three, but I would go speed system and assault torpedo B, and that would make your Nighthawks more fleet versus fleet friendly. Okay, um, uh, me, it's I don't hit bases very often, but um, uh, when I do. Um, sometimes my Nighthawks being able to step out the base guard makes a difference of whether I, uh, I fail or I succeed. So uh, that's why I have mine designed this way. This way is more important to me because I want to be able to help my alliance and get my alliance points. And um, so, and I do pretty well with these anyway, fleet versus fleet, to be honest with you. Yep, it is me, a bull rice. <laughs> and, um,. But uh, those are the only two fleets you've seen me use today, and um, I'm going to be repairing for a bit, I think. But I don't have anything else to do in here for right now. Um, I do have. You don't. You really don't want to copy my my fleet. My Mastodons. Um, they don't have any armor on them yet. Um, I, I I need to re rethink my whole missile fleet design. I, I really do. Um, I think I got a lot of it right. Um, I'm kind of happy with my Kodiaks. I don't think I'm going to change anything on my Kodiaks. Uh, my Savage Kodiak, I, I think putting the Strike Missile A's on there, I, I think I was being felt that I was being smarter than I actually was. Uh, the Strike Missile B's are definitely the way to go. And uh, But then I, I also need to think, because I went really heavy with the armor on everything else. Um, my, my armor is all like um, uh, D5E. And I put D4R and then CP4. So I went really, really heavy on armor and on three boats. And then I, I didn't put any armor at all on the Mastodons. So I need to rethink that whole strategy. Okay. Um, and the reason why this has become a problem is because there's a lot of people um, in their, in, that have, uh, I'll show you the, the Basically, they'll have a, a level five platform, defense platform, and what they'll have on there is a um, they'll have the executioner, and then they'll put the uh, they'll put the smart warhead special on it. 
So basically, that will make force this turret to target my mastodons because my mastodons have no armor. So um, these guys will shoot up my mastodons. So uh, and take my mastodons out and just completely ignore my Kodiaks. So it's not something you want to do. Is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, you. you uh, but if you if you do build any uh, of these in your base, I don't have any built yet. I plan on it. I'm actually upgrading the platform right now to level five for one of these. Um, uh, I've got another two days and 16 hours on that, and then I'll start doing this. Which you see, this is 14 days right here. How freaking silly is that? Two freaking weeks to put one free, just out one turret after I already spent 10 days upgrading it. So 24 days to put in one of these. It freaking irritates me to no freaking end every time I say it. 24 days. It's it's a dang shame. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, everything is going in slow. Um, but, you know... The last person that hit my base uh, hit me. I had no guard in, and I still hit killed 50% uh, of his fleet. I'm pretty happy about that. To me, it, it's a kind of a success. Um, if I just had a base guard, it'd probably make a lot of difference. Um, but definitely getting my turrets done, even though it's taken forever. Um, even though it's taken forever, you know, I um, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I know OP6 has been out for a while, and I've been making changes to my base for a while. I have not coined anything in my base, and I'm not going to. Yeah, well, I, um, a bullarize. Um, if ever you, if you, well, you just clicked follow, so you should get notifications. I think you have to have a verified email address. Or something like that. I think if you have a verified email address, then you can get uh, emailed notifications. If you have a phone, you can have that sent to your phone. Uh, and if you have a smartphone, uh, you have a smartphone, then you can get push notifications on that or your iPad or whatever. And um, so that way you'll know when I go live. And I'm not uh, opposed to talking about you know whatever you know. I mean, if I have a specific task I'm working on at the time, whether it be alliance points or if I'm working on my Forsaken Missions. Forsaken Missions, I can kind of take my time, but like Alliance Points, usually I do that on Mondays during my lunch break. Yep, Twitch app for your smartphone, yep. And follow Wizard here, Wizard1032. If you click on his name here on the chat, uh, you can click on follow. Uh, for me, I'm already following, so I have the unfollow option. But um, uh, if you click on him, uh, you can follow him because he also streams Battle Pirates. He streams a lot of games too, but um, um, you know he he plays he plays awesome music. I don't play awesome music. Well, I'm I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'll polarize. I appreciate it. But yeah, yeah, this whole thing right here. Um, I, I you know I think I want to screenshot this real quick because uh, you know we have a, a a very important show coming on Thursday night. And um, uh, we're going to have one of the uh, uh, developers from Kixi on our show. And um, let me screenshot that. All right. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's great that repair times are getting some attention. It's not enough attention in my eyes. Um, but um, every, I, I really think that everything else should be addressed. And the baby steps have got to stop. Um, the baby steps have got to stop. They really need to fix some problems in this game. Um, the expense of it all. Um, and I really feel like this uh, retro, this officer pack that they just had, the, um, um, what was it, the specialists, I, I think, I feel like this was a baby step. You know what I mean? It's because you have to gain so much rank before you notice, you know, any kind of real difference. And even then, the difference is minimal. You know, the Hellhound will go from 150% repair modifier to 100% repair modifier. You know, so they got some work to do. But anyway, um, and, and there's a lot of competition getting ready to come out too for Battle Pirates. So Battle Pirates has got, they got to really step up their game. They, they got to step it up. And um, I think one of the most important things they can do is reduce the, price, uh, the, the, the time associated with stuff like this is because um, if we're allowed to produce content for the game, if we're able to contribute to the game, uh, our content, 
and my base as it is is not effective con nobody is ever satisfied after hitting my base okay is because it's not a challenge okay and uh, for me to produce ch a challenge for people who want to hit my base it's going to call it come at a premium for me a premium expense for me and um, I'm, I'm not into that you know uh, especially when it comes down to the battle of the the, the, the billfolds you know um, everybody's like um, coining every freaking thing and I, I'd be pretty upset if I spent a thousand dollars on my base and I couldn't keep a fleet out so I just won't do that yeah yeah they, they need to make major steps the baby steps have got to stop so um, I, I, I do plan on being nice um, to the developer when he comes but I, I plan on being honest at the same time um, um, I'm not going to call him any names or anything like that because we don't work that way. Well, you know, we don't work that way. But um, so hopefully, you know, we, we can uh, get some get some answers and, and make some points and, and all that kind of stuff would be awesome. Um, uh, that's this Thursday, uh, the 19th, I believe. Um this Thursday the 19th and uh, I know Eastern time my time zone is 8 p.m. Uh, that's 5 p.m. kickside time which is uh, uh, Pacific I will be putting up an event reminder for everybody and um, I'll, I'll put up an event reminder for everybody so you, everybody can click on join and uh, and then well I guess it doesn't say join anymore now it just says interested <laughs> so so it no longer says join on the events, but yeah, I uh, well, I, I haven't actually been hit by a Hellhound fleet, but yeah, I haven't been hit by a Hellhound fleet, but I um, I don't know the fleets that hit me. I don't know. I I can't stop anything that's modern. Uh, I just don't have a base guard. I don't have a base guard, uh, an, a, a, an effective base guard. Uh, my my base guard is primarily scraps, and um, you know it's like I got stuff in there like an empty viper for detecting subs. I got an enforcer that needs to be re refit. Um, I got gollies that uh, are probably about one or two years old each, and uh, even my harlock uh, needs some uh, attention. So, and uh, quite honestly, I mean this is really all just scraps. I'm not saying that I would stick with this in my base guard anyway because I haven't really designed a base guard because I have not been able to get a base um, since OP6 came out and um, I haven't ha haven't had a base um, that was designed to stop anything. Everything is in progress. I'm, I'm working towards I'm working towards a goal but that goal is always moving because the game is constantly changing you know and um, so I don't know that I'll ever catch up but um, and it's quite honestly, it's starting to cause me to lose some interest. But, um, hey, Cross Sweden. What's How are you? Did I coin a new fleet already? You got me confused with somebody else. <laughs> you definitely got me confused with somebody else. I wouldn't mind. I haven't even settled on a design yet. But, well, anyway, um, I did, um, I, so I, I've already done what I'm going to do on here today. Uh, I know we've had a little bit of uh, talk about politics and all that kind of stuff. And um, I don't know if there's anything else anybody wants to talk. If not, then I'll probably just do shout outs and call it. But Yeah, I know Wizard's got a few boats, but... He hadn't gotten them all yet. He, he got himself a couple. Hey, Joel. Man, all you guys are showing up, and I'm getting ready to sign off, man. I'm going to feel bad here. Yeah, that trigger, I kind of, right now, I'm thinking about putting it on, like, two different uh, hulls. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm looking at my platforms, and I'm kind of thinking, well, where can I put it where I don't have to worry about the retargeting so much? I'm thinking... Uh, like right here I think might be a good place for me to put my, my trigger well, I don't know it can this can be shot from right here so that might not be a good place um, 
right here might not be horrible. Um, of course, any guard that I have behind this wall may end up intercepting the retargeted, retargeted missiles. So that could be bad. And then uh, right here is another idea that I had because it can't be sniped coming in. You know, if I did this one out here, it'd probably be, be okay if I, um, it would probably be okay if I put a lot of armor on it. I'd have to upgrade it to an 11 and uh, to get so, so that I'd get an armor slot. And then I could put some armor on it um, to make it last a little bit. So that way, um, it'd be nice if it blew up, like right when the Nighthawks were going through it, which is when I'm getting, it, try, somebody's trying to sub me out. It'd be nice. Um, here I'm not worried about retargeting too much because you know what's going to do take out a lab. I mean it might take out a turret, but um, if this one right here eventually this this flak I eventually want it to be like this one. This flak right here you see I put it on a level five platform and I put two uh, D4Ms on it and um, and basically about five and putting the two D4Ms on it I got the uh, missile defense up to 44% and uh, I got its armor up to 46,000. Okay, so this right here is generally the last thing standing in my base whenever somebody comes through now. It's generally the last thing standing. Um, but, you know, since I put that up, I've retargeted, I've never, I have not had any issues with you targeting, taking out any of my turrets up here. Um, but um, this one right here is the platform currently that I'm upgrading to five that I'm going to put that ex executioner on. Is this one right here? And, um, let me, let me point this out right here, too. I'm going to take a screenshot of that, just so. All right. You're going to put one where the fleet shows up when they attack from under base. Oh, I got you. So, like right around here in the center somewhere. They should show up like right around here, right? Something like that. That's a, that's a nice nice one. That's a pretty nice trap. Huh, sorry for showing up. You're, don't be sorry for showing up, Joel. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to hold on because I feel bad for. Um, uh, you know, I've I've I I just finished my my event goal. You know, I I went ahead and I cashed in and got my uh, I got the Crusader, I got the Arbalist, I got Combustion Trigger. I haven't got any Unshuckled Hellhounds, but I don't know this guy who's number one and on the leaderboard right now. Um, he's talking about helping me get a couple unshack or a Unshackled for 25 million. I'm just I, I'm to the point I've already spent 300 gold. I'm not going to spend any more. Um, um, I have more, but I'm not going to spend it on that. I'd rather go down here and um, I'd rather go down here and speed it up on this. I'd rather just click speed up here and then, you know, spend it there. Uh, quite honestly, that's what I'd rather do. Um, you know, that's that's how I don't mind spending my gold. I'll spend my gold there, no problem. But um, I'm not in a hurry to spend my gold because, quite honestly, uh, I'm not sure that I want to buy any more right now. You know, um, I, I know we got changes going on in the game right now with the math and all that stuff. And I, um, uh, the hackers have been rampant, you know, and a lot of people seem to be turning to hacking these days. And, um, so may they all be popped, but you know, uh, I'm not sure the state of the game, where we're going to be at in six months. I really just don't know. And uh, the next six months are going to be very, very important, I think, for Battle Pirates, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, Watsud. I, I kind of felt that way myself when I was doing um, doing all of these this stuff. Um when I spent my 300 gold, I just felt like it was insane because there was, I, I wasn't lasting five minutes, you know, on some of these. Uh, I wasn't lasting five minutes, and uh, I think I was doing the elite campaign. I did a couple of those. Um, if you look at, uh, let me go here. If you look at my campaigns, you see I completed the siege three times and I completed a, a, a elite twice, and um, um, that's you know what I've done, and. Um, but they were insane. They were insane. I uh, I can't believe that I, I did that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of the videos there, Freebird. Um, I, I've seen a lot of the videos, um, and it, it, the game looks amazing. I, you know, I actually did apply. Um, I should check my email to see if I got a, a code or anything yet. But I did apply uh, for for that game, um, Worship's Beta, and uh, you know, hopefully I get a code or something like that, and then I can stream that. Uh, let me look at my email real quick. Nope, nothing from them yet. Nothing from them yet. Oh, I just noticed there was something in my junk mail folder. I probably should have checked my junk mail. Officer 24-7. Yeah, I agree. Well, I think they should make it easier for everybody, quite honestly. You know, I mean, ev not everything in this game needs to be a struggle, you know. I know some people like the challenge, but, you know, if they like the challenge so much, they wouldn't coin f to, to make everything an advantage, you know. Here's a challenge. Quit spending so freaking much money. There's a challenge. You, how many people do you think will get that challenge right there? Oh, okay. All right, I got you, Hiram. Well, um, yeah, you're probably right, NDA. I, I think I did read that when I was applying. I think you're right. Yeah, that's my challenge to uh, the high levels that are complaining about, you know, crap being too freaking easy, is like quit spending so freaking much money to make the game easier for you. Because you're ruining it for everybody else. But. That, I kind of felt like uh, I was that one comic, that uh, stand-up comic that was in Spider-Man, the dad. What's his name? When I said, quit spending so much money, here's a challenge. Yeah, I can't remember it right now either. I'd have to look it up. Yeah. Well, yeah, and $50 a month is a fair amount to spend. $50 a month is a fair amount to spend. I, I spend more than that, okay? And quite honestly, I, the only reason I spend that much is because I'm desperate. You know, I'm desperate. And, uh, and it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> you know, I'm still not getting anywhere. You know, I'm desperate to have the game back that I used to enjoy. And, uh, and that's the only reason I spend as much as I do. You know, and um, so I don't know if that's part of the strategy <laughs> to make me desperate to squeeze every little last drop of blood out of me you can get. Um, it's kind of worked, <laughs> you know, it's kind of made me feel a little um, uh, mad about the whole thing, quite honestly, a little upset, a little bit of negativity. Doesn't make me want to try any more of your other games. I mean, I, I have quit Vega Conflict already, and it's a shame because Vega Conflict is so much better than Battle Pirates. And, uh, I mean, it's on a more stable platform. It, it, the coding is so much better. They uh, they fix little crap instead of waiting for it uh, to be uh, a priority. You know, stuff like, you know, the, the math near cloak efficiency, for example. You know, they wouldn't have put that off for two years like the Battle Pirate team did, you know. Yeah, man, I, there was some good there were some good times back in the day. Good times back in the day. Wait a second, you know, I just remembered somebody here posted a video earlier. Let me scroll up. Um, it's gone already. I know somebody posted a video, but it's gone already. Oh well. Yeah, the Blackwater days. But you know, I was a complete idiot back then, wizard, <laughs> in the Blackwater days. I, uh, I I was just a, a total idiot. I mean, I didn't know how to build anything. If you would have saw some of my Levi builds back then, <laughs> they were god awful. I I just didn't. I figured my boats were going to be great at everything, and so I would mix all of my weapons and I would put specials in that didn't apply to any of the weapons on the hull. I mean, I did all of those new mistakes. I made every one of them. K 
can I say how much that I think I've spent on this game? Uh, and like ever? Um, probably about $2,000. Um, probably about $2,000, uh, quite honestly, um, is probably how much I've spent. There we go. Oh, that's, yeah, Carlos's video. It's a great video. Oh, y'all can't hear any of that. I just noticed that. That's weird, though, because you guys were able to hear it all before. Huh. Let me go into my settings real fast, see if I can make it so y'all can hear it. I don't... Yeah, I just noticed you guys aren't getting any of that audio, so I apologize for that. I have to play around with my stream again later and figure out why that is. Oh, you can hear it. Uh, I'm going to just stop back here real quick. Hold on a second. Oh. I'm going to pause it real quick. I just... Who remembers the graphic change? Look how ugly they made the boats, man. Is there any wonder that people were freaking out? You know what I mean? I mean, look what they did. I, I actually did like the defense platforms. I thought the defense platforms were cool looking. I hated the turrets, though. The turrets were all hideous. I didn't like the walls. I didn't like the boats. You know? But, yeah, that was pretty amazing. I did like the... Um... This one here is a weird pick because I, I just noticed that... Uh... Maybe that's his level up here on the top. But I did like that they had like the versus thing right here. It was pretty neat. There was another one on here I'll probably stop on too when we get to the battle logs. <laughs> the white screen. I've had that happen. I've had that happen. A high level base was a 31. <laughs> this this is the uh, beer bottle everybody talks about on the uh, Outpost Five. This is the beer bottle they got rid of that with OP six. It's not there anymore. Oh. This building right here, so many people are freaking out about this building, but this building was never in Battle Pirates. You can tell it's all photoshopped, but that actually is a building from a Command & Conquer game. It was never in Battle Pirates. Or any Kickside game for that matter. Seawolf was awesome back in the day. This one, well, this right here is Cutlass, but uh, I think I had a fleet of these. I did have a fleet of these, but also had a fleet of, uh, well, the Thud ones. I hope he shows the Thud one. No, he doesn't. It's Thud Levi. Yeah, crap started getting crazy there. You know, I kind of wonder, uh, right here it says 8,000 went. This is just people who have accepted uh, the Facebook, who clicked join on the Facebook event. So I don't know that this is really a great number. I mean, it definitely illustrates a point, you know. I mean, it's even though it's only one. And you, you notice I'm on, on his graphics, right? Me and him are friends. But, um, 
Yeah, because this is just people who play on Facebook, but we also have people that play on um, uh, Congregate Games these days and Armored Games as well. Congregate.com and Armored Games, and of course, Kicksai. Um, back in the day, though, you could only play on Facebook. That's the only place the game was available. That's what the game is today right there, Battle Wallets. <laughs> I've been there. That was a raid. I don't know what these pictures are. <laughs> no clue what these pictures are. <laughs> Maybe that was somebody's Facebook profile. I don't know. That's Linda Blair. <laughs> CNC hat was named Don Julio for a while but now he's back to CNC again did I miss the I, I guess I missed the uh, the battle log picture darn it see if I could find oh here it is right here lucky click this one right here um, this this particular um, battle log right here only lasted for what two days or something like that uh, any I mean it was only like one or two days but what was great about this is that you could replay um, the battle directly off of it okay and um, as and so you didn't your war academy didn't need to be fixed hey hey Ian Ion, I, <laughs> I'm gonna say Ion flux because I think that's what you were going for but um, anyway um, yeah I think uh, what back this this battle log here I actually really like this battle log I was sad to see it go but I think a lot of people complained I don't know if it was just super glitchy or what but I thought it was a great battle log. Alright, well anyway, that's that. So that was a nice video, right? Yeah, it was a great video. He, he really he did a good job. He said, uh, he told me, we, t we chatted a bit last night, he said he was well over 6,000 views on that video. Uh, Josh, uh, you need to make sure you didn't claim two Tier 4 prizes, did you? Because um, if you claim two Tier 4 prizes already, then you probably can't claim the Kodiak. So just to make sure, you know. Because uh, the Arbalist and Combustion Trigger, if you got both of these, then the Kodiak is no longer an option for you. So I'll save you some work there. Eon Flux. Eon flux, I got gotcha. you. You know, I like it when people know how to articulate, how to tell me to enunciate their name. That is awesome. You know what I mean? Because I don't know how else to do it. I mean, obviously we're not talking, talking, you know, voice to voice. But so when you're able to articulate how I should enunciate, it's pretty awesome. Oh, you said uh, the arbalist. You're never going to use it. Okay. Well, I have seen some pretty nice videos. If you go back and look at my other streams, I know Made You Ship Your Pants has done. He, he's demoed his uh, his Crusaders with the Arbalist cannons on them. Uh, Wizard on here has done his as well. If you watch his stream, I'm sure you'll probably see it because he's been ranking them up like crazy. Um, so if you're interested, you know, look for Wizard1032 on here on the Twitch, and um, you might see, catch him uh, ranking them. But he, he does tend to play awesome music too, um, um, much better than what I, I do. I my the music that I play on here tends to be a little frustrating is because <laughs> CCF. <laughs> yeah, good job, good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got banned. But you know what? When you hack, that thing hap that kind of thing happens. I mean, I guess he probably earned the blueprints and then maybe hacked the builds. I don't know what he did or hacked the rank. I, don't, I have no clue what he, did, what he did, but he got caught and banned. It didn't take no time at all. It was super fast. But, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and do shout-outs real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and close the stream out. Um, my son is getting ready to go away for tonight. He's 
got like some kind of physical thing he's doing for his uh, uh, National Guard thing, and um, so I'm gonna like hang out with him for a bit. But I'll holler at y'all later. And Josh, I'll uh, I'll go in there and do a highlight video of your your strike campaign too. Hey, R.G. Smith. No, it it's not it's not me. At least from here to the Twitch server, I'm clean. I'm not dropping any frames. Yeah, thank you, Hiram. I appreciate it. So, yep, and I, I'm definitely going to try. I'm going to try to give the wife some attention today and not ignore her. She's uh, been really nice to me so far today. So, see if I can keep it going. Yep. Yeah, sorry about that, Eon. All right, let me do the shout outs. Um, I got Eon Flux, CCF, Kroaki. Kroaki's actually been hanging out in here for a couple of days. I don't know if Kroaki's actually on. Ebola Rise, new follower, Freebird, Hiram, uh, Haikuju no Kaido, uh, Josh Sumter, Carlos Jaram, um, Krill Sweden, Mixter BP, Officer 24 7, Ragnar, 0311, Ravens 01, RG Smith 66, Bato 186, Witsud, Wizard 1032. Make sure you follow Wizard 1032 also, because um, if you're a Battle Pirate junkie and you just want to see people playing, uh, he plays quite a bit. And he's working on make a comeback because he's just he's coming out of retirement. So it could be a good show. Hey, Mixter. So there's your shout out. <laughs> yeah, um, the the streaming should be about I'm probably about two meg uh, on the stream. So if you actually oh Vato, thanks for click and follow. Uh, Vato 186. If you right click on my Twitch stream and go to uh, video playback stats, it, you, usually if you're good at decoding all that crap on there, it'll tell you what the problem is. It'll tell you, um, you know, if it's a buffering issue, like you don't have the memory, or if you're dropping frames, it could be your downstream, um, that kind of thing, you know. So it, it, it will probably help you. But uh, y'all have a good one. Uh, enjoy my outro. <laughs> the price is wrong, bitch. <laughs>